Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you didn't already know who I am, my name's Kalani and today I'm going to be doing a video that a lot of YouTubers lately have been doing that I wanted to try. It was let your followers choose your look for the day. So today I am giving you everything and you guys get to decide what I do for my look. So if you would like to see what you guys chose to do, then keep on watching. Alright, so I put my ugly headband on and I already did like my foundation, powder, and eyebrows and now we're going to move on to where you guys decide how I'm going to look today. So first, I asked you guys on Instagram either blush or bronzer, which I usually do both but I thought I would ask you guys which one I should do and you guys said bronzer, which I highly appreciate because I need to have contoured cheeks, chocolate soleil, medium deep matte bronzer. If I can open it. I can't open it. And I feel really organized because I put this little brush thingy over here, so now all my brushes are over there and I'm just really slay in summer. I put a lot of bronzer on because I really like to chisel my cheeks. So next I asked you guys whether I should be matte or if I should highlight. And God bless, you guys told me to highlight. If you know me or you follow me on Instagram, I love a pop and highlight. So I'm going to tell you guys my secret highlight right now. Are you ready? I use the Anastasia Amrezy highlight. And what I do first is I wet it a little bit with like setting powder. And let me tell you, your glow will be glowing for the next 20 days. Use this brush. It's a smaller brush. I usually don't use this brush. And... Okay, it took one second. Do you see this, guys? Glow is life, everybody. Some people tell me my glow is too much, and I just don't listen to the haters, because I love my glow. Next, I asked you guys for my makeup if I should do dramatic eyes or natural eyes. And thank goodness you guys told me natural eyes, because I'm not trying to be dramatic today. So I'm going to show you guys how I do a more natural eye but I did a makeup tutorial on like my everyday look so I'm gonna change it up a little bit for this video but it's a little bit similar I use three palettes this is very very extra right now actually I'm only gonna use two palettes so I'm using two palettes today I'm using this Morphe palette and I'm using my all-time favorite palette right now it's this Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and these colors in here are like my everything. This is the best palette I've seen in a while. So first I'm just going to be taking my Morphe palette and this girl's really broken so I'll show you guys but it's like really broken. It broke whenever I was <laughs> literally I don't even know if I can hold this up without it like going everywhere. Looks like this. It broke whenever I was um uh, on tour I took it somewhere and you know they just throw your suitcases around everywhere and then I opened up my suitcase and my palette was broken my mom got mad at me I wanted to cry it was a great day anyways I'm gonna be using this like bronzy color and I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid very this is a very easy eye look and even though it's like a bronzy eyeshadow it still looks like super natural for like an everyday look Perfect. And next, I'm going to be taking this Huda Beauty palette, and I'm going to be using this pinky shade right here called Eden. And I'm just going to be taking this, like, fluffy blender brush, and I'm just going to put this in my crease. Just all over my crease. Like that. And just same thing to the other eye. I like to keep my eyes open whenever I do my crease so that like, I can see what it looks like with my eyes open because clearly your eyes are going to be open a lot more than they're closed. Then I'm going to take this bronzy shade. Oh, it's not It's not bronzy at all. It's just a matte brown shade. And I'm going to be putting this on like my outer corner. If you can't tell, I'm literally shaking right now because I worked out so hard this morning that I'm still shaking. Really look, the palette is shaking because my hand is shaking so much. 
So now that that is done, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of like under eye shadow, like water, not waterline, like drop shadow underneath your eye because I just like the way it looks. I feel like it makes my eyes like look prettier. And I, oh, I forgot to tell you what shade I'm doing. I'm a really good beauty guru. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just a girl trying to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm taking this shade called, I don't know how to pronounce this, Ode. Ode? <laughs> if you wanted to know, Chloe is currently at my house and she's Snapchatting me over here. Ode. I think it's called Ode. It's O-U-D, so pronounce it how you'd like. And I'm just going to be doing this underneath my eye. I don't know if you could tell. Oh, that looks really good. Dang. Go me. And the reason why I'm so late for a YouTube video is because the past four days, my eyes have been literally bloodshot red. And today is the first day that they don't look like that. I don't know, these allergies came in and I was like, do I have pink eye or something? And then I went to the doctor and then the doctor told me that my eyes are gonna be bloodshot for the next few days and there's nothing I can do. Therefore, I've just been walking around doing my life with like my, red, my eyes being so red, it was literally insane. I looked really scary. But I feel like I look better now, which is good. Those are my eyes. Now moving on to, let's see, what did I ask next? Now I asked if I should wear fake eyelashes or just do mascara and you guys really came in clutch and told me just to do mascara so i really love you guys and choosing this natural look today i like highly appreciate it today i'm going to be using my new favorite mascara it is from urban decay but for some reason every single time i buy this mascara the the little tube thing looks like this tube but it falls off every single time so i really don't know what it's called i think it's called like dramatic lashes or something but it keeps falling off so this is what my mascara looks like anyways it's my new fave i used to use the better than sex one like everybody did but i moved on I asked I think it's my last thing yeah so this is my last thing I asked you guys to help me do for makeup and it's if I should do a bold lip or a natural lip and 24% of you said a bold lip so thank you guys because I'm going natural lip today so for my natural lip what I usually do is just put on this lip liner and it's from Mac it's called hmm, fresh clay and it's my favorite lip liner and I basically use it as my lipstick so I go through it really fast and I'm just gonna put that on as my natural look color for the day. Those are my lips. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add a little bit of lip gloss from the Fenty Beauty. I don't think, does it have a name? It does have a name, I just can't see what it says. It's called Gloss Bomb. And I just put, this gloss is like super thick, so I just put a little bit of it on right in the center. And then just like that. And so that is my makeup look you guys had me do. Now moving on to hair. Now for hair, I asked you guys if I should have my hair curly or if I should wear it straight. And 60% of you said curly. So I just turned my curling iron on and now I'm gonna curl my hair. But first I need to put dry shampoo in it because I am a dirty girl and I haven't washed my hair in many days. Dry shampoo is the best. I think you can only get it in Canada. So if you live in Canada, you can get this. If you're from America or any other country, I don't think you can get it. But I had my per my makeup artist, Tammy. You might know her. She was on our makeup artist on Dance Moms. She's from Canada, and she went back there. And I had her, like, stock me up on this dry shampoo because it's insane. Um, my hair, like, rarely curls and stays curled. But this one, I don't know, for some reason, like, my hair stays curled for forever. So this part's kind of boring, so I'm probably just going to speed it up. But if you want to watch how I curl my hair, then I'll link the video down below for that video. So now that I just got done curling my hair, I'm going to add a little bit of texture spray to it. It's like hairspray, but I think it just like gives more volume and it's lighter, which I appreciate. And this is from the Chi Hair Products. And then my last question I asked you guys for hair is if I should wear it up or down and you guys 69% of you said to wear it down so that means that this is the end of my look and I like what you guys chose today so thank you for giving me a nice natural look for my day I appreciate it 
I love you guys. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, check out all my social medias, and have an amazing day. I love you so much. Mwah.